I'm in the mood for a silly breakfast sandwich. This is the ultimate donut breakfast sandwich from Duck Donuts. So if you follow the channel for a while, you would actually know that we've done two reviews of Duck Donuts already. One of this particular location where we tasted every single flavor and one actually at the Outer Banks, which was kind of a disaster in and of itself. I'll link both of those in the description down below if you wanna check those out. But what intrigued me to come back to Duck Donuts here in my area was the breakfast sandwich. When we went to the Outer Banks, I had hyped myself up for the breakfast sandwich just because it was something that we have here locally. And I thought, hey, wouldn't it be a fun idea if we go to the original Duck Donuts and get one of the breakfast sandwiches. Didn't work out because they don't make breakfast sandwiches there and we ended up waiting over an hour for our donuts. I digress. Today we have the breakfast sandwich from Duck Donuts. And while I was in there ordering, I put together what I'm considering the ultimate version of this breakfast sandwich. And I got it right here in this cute little box. While I was in there ordering, the young man who I think probably runs the place or is at least a manager kind of joked around with me. I'm like, I need a second. He's like, I just gave you a second. And it was kind of a funny little interaction there. But uh, I'll get back to the service in just a moment. But let's get into this breakfast sandwich. Let's see what we got here. The first thing to kind of comment on is the size. Now, when I pick this up, it feels nice and heavy. Looking at it though, it's one of those things where it's not much larger than like a Egg McMuffin kind of thing. There's obviously, when you pick it up, there's obviously a lot going on here. What I opted for was a sausage, egg and cheese with maple bacon topping. But anyway, let's get in for a taste, see how it is, and we'll get into a little more about why I designed it this way. Mm. Wow. Holy cow. There's no getting around the fact that this is definitely a stunt food. It's not normal to eat a breakfast sandwich on a donut, and this is not something that I would advocate to do every day, but if you're gonna do it, you gotta do it up like this. Maple is actually like a classic breakfast flavor. You can get maple flavored sausages, and that's kind of what I was going for. Even a decade ago, there was a, a trend going around where you would actually like poach fried eggs in maple syrup, and I tried it out and um, it was fine. Duck Donuts, the base, is kind of on the neutral side. They're not the sweetest donut on the planet. They're cakey, they're dense, they're crumbly. The maple, I feel in this case here, which is just a drizzle on top, is just perfect, perfect. for it. Now the sausage that they use is very much in line with a breakfast sausage, has a lot of sage and a lot of those kind of notes and obviously porky, fatty. And then you got your crumbled bacon on top, which just adds even more to that. The one thing that I will say is that the bacon is a little bit on the undercooked side. It's a little more chewy. For me, that's actually how I prefer my bacon. But for a lot of people that might be a little bit off-putting. But from what I understand on the internet, people want their bacon crispy. so. I'm just putting that out there as far as the construction here. For me, what I got here is absolutely perfect. Let's go in for another bite here just to make sure that we got a good assessment of everything. There's also like a nice slice of American cheese. It's the kind of thing that's addictive. Before you take a bite, you're like, ah, that, that's probably not gonna be great. Then you bite it and it's like, you know what, this actually really works. So I mentioned the service when I got there, they were obviously in there making donuts and it was quite a seamless operation. The one thing that was kind of funny is he came to the counter, gave me a minute to decide. I knew exactly what I was gonna get. It was gonna be that breakfast sandwich where I was unsure was my coffee. Now I wanted to do a frap or something. I was looking online and I couldn't really figure out what I wanted to do. That's kind of why I needed a minute. I wanted to get some inspiration from the menu board. I ended up going with something on the kind of boring side cold brew, but I guess they have a, a sweet cream foam on top. I had to taste it in there to tell them how it was, but let's go in now that it's settled a little bit. And obviously we're gonna get back to the donut in just a second. Mm. Yeah, I mean, this is just a cold brew with this creamy top. The creamy top is kind of lightly sweetened. Not bad. For $5, I'm sure it's packed with caffeine and I'm sure this is gonna get me through my day, so ain't gonna complain. Let's go in for another bite and turn it upside down this time. Sometimes when you eat foods like this upside down, you get different kind of flavors. Do that with a Big Mac. As I eat through this, the one thing that comes to mind is French toast. It's like a breakfast sandwich on French toast, but kind of donutty and crumbly. You get what I'm talking about. The one flaw to this sandwich, I'll say, is that egg is kind of your like egg puck kind of pre-prepared item. Not what I would call the best kind of egg for this type of sandwich, but it, it works for five bucks for something like this. At the very least, you can tell people that you had a breakfast sandwich on a donut that was topped with maple sugar and bacon. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to hit it with a like and subscribe if you like food. Check out those two other Duck Donut reviews right here. Oh,